Hi, I'm Reynaldo and welcome to Ray Purpose Made. Thank you for watching. This is my YouTube channel where I take you through my furniture making process and show you that any old piece of furniture can also be a custom piece of art. Please like this video and subscribe to my channel to see what's coming up next. Enjoy. Are you looking to have a serving table or a mini bar in your house, but then when you look online, the options are pretty slim, but the objects are pretty bulky, and you can't find anything that makes sense to fit in your house because you want something that's light and airy and makes sense and can be moved around and not this big object in your place? The object that I'm going to tell you today is a piece that I made for my friend Brian, where it's a serving table, also can be used as a bar, some place where you can either be in front of it or behind it and be a host. So that is the product that I'm going to show you right now. Okay, so I'm at Brian's house right now with this big package that I, I created when I was at the studio. This is the entire um, serving table for Brian. It is all the wood that I'm going to have in here and I'm going to put this down while I'll tell you guys about the project. It's kind of heavy. I rode my bike here with this. So the project is a really simple design of a serving table where it's pretty much a surface and it's the legs, a little bit of cubbies here and a couple more treats that we're going to just see, not even tell you about. So the biggest theme is the color palette. I want to have the reggae colors, the red, the yellow, the green. So there's some pieces of wood that are spray painted, the red, the yellow, the green, but the overall color is this golden oak wood. I don't want to have too much spray paint because then it would look like a little cartoony. So those accents give it a little bit of like kind of design while still being a functional, cool looking table. It's going to go right here behind me. So I'm just going to get started right now. Sunrise, they don't want to see it. They want me to feed it. What's up, everybody? Well, what's up, Ray? First of all, welcome to my home. You're here because I got a lot of reconstructing to do, just trying to make home feel like home, but also work because of, of course, pandemic, all of these things. But I recently just got into healthy eating and, you know, gourmet uh, sun, sun fired foods. So I'm looking to expand my kitchen in a way and also just have a place where I could work and keep some of my machinery um, and yeah kind of just sleek something personal so me and Ray talked a lot about the design and I'm really excited to to see the building um, this table right now is on its side because I need you, you Brian, to tell me exactly where you want the shelf of the little planter shelf. So this yeah, we gonna we gonna need baby to grow a little bit, so we can bring her down a little bit. Like I that, think this is. Cute I think right that's here. great. Yeah, that's a good okay. height for me. I'm gonna put that marker, twelve and a half inches to the top of the shelf, and that's it. So now I'm gonna put that other piece right there. Your shelf will happen in a second, and the other shelf up there is gonna happen too. Yo, I'm excited to that's see the end product, bro. <laughs> this is gonna be lit. So now like this table, all the little features are done. You got the ledge right here, you got another ledge right there. This is a support bar. It's also gonna be a little bit more. Not letting you know what that's gonna be yet, but right now it's time to flip this whole thing. You can see the table as it's supposed to be. So let me get this going. Oh, strong man, he don't need no help. And that's the tabletop that's still on the floor. Hmm. That would look nice, brother. Thank you very much. Ooh. Polyurethane's um, sealant for the nerve. Okay, so this is gonna be the look right now. And like I said before, I have more to tell you. So they're gonna be hooks laying across this whole thing. So you're gonna hang stuff, you know, you're gonna hang the juices, hang the, the measuring cups, 
whatever you need to hang that goes along with this uh, juicing table, they're gonna be hooks right there for you. And one more thing, full of surprises, all right? These are some color-coded angles and screws. So obviously the reds go for the red side, and this is the green, and it's gonna go for the green side. So a little bit of color in all the places, and some hooks, and we got black too. So we got the Rasta colors, we got the African-American colors, because it's gonna be red, yellow, and green with black along here. So all in all, the look is here, and I have to do the finishes, almost done. Wow, thank you, brother. Anytime, man. This now, like it's pretty much this is the look. I want to see like how I got you the the red, yellow, green. It is one spot where you get the reggae colors all as one, but pretty much you got the red on the left, the yellow in the center, and the green on the right. But right now. I want to put some hooks on. I think I think the space would give it a uh, you know just flexibility in order to have like bigger things if I needed them. So yeah, I'm I'm definitely um, I'm I, I like the spacing. I'm gonna do some real measurements, but I think I'm gonna yeah. go, with, go with this spacing. It's gonna be the exact mirror on the other side. I love that. I love that. All right, it's happening right now. It's happening right now, y'all. We out here. Great <laughs> purpose. He don't play games. He just build things. Thank you. Right? Yes, it, yes it is. It is complete. Thank you so much. So I do want to kind of do a little bit of talking about this. So first off, this is going to be a juicing table. So because it's a juicing table, this is the surface that's going to have the most action. I made sure that I did polyurethane sealing and I did lacquer. So this is a, a table, a, a surface that you can like spill some water on it, spill some of that watermelon juice, the ginseng, everything. It'll be fine. Now, let me give you guys the tour, the little navigation around the whole piece. So like I said before, we're going with the red, the red colors. We're going to do red, yellow, green. You see you have red, yellow, and green. Now, what, most importantly, I didn't want two color pieces to intersect because I felt that it would kind of lose a little bit of its like aesthetic. It'll look too cartoony. So in every little place, you have red hair and it's all wood around it. But then there's also a shelf for the plants, one here and one here. So we have the green one here and we have the red one here. And then the last thing to talk about is all these hooks right here. So we have yellow in the center and I needed this bar right here is important. That was needed for structure. So because I need up this bar for structure, let's give it more than just structure. Let's make it aesthetic. Let's give it function also. So I have four hooks here. But we're going to hang stuff like the measuring cups, the blender utensils, the spoons, whatever else it needs to make juices and have this whole thing. And also, the reason why I'm standing just like this is because Brian is planning on having like doing like demo demonstrations about his juicing and everything. And it's probably going to be what? Like this, right? Something like that. Something we will figure that part out, <laughs> but the idea is there, the utensil is there, uh, everything is ready. I am so pleased with this project, it came out great. And thank you again, Brian. Yo, thank Enjoy. You. I am pleased because, yo, money worth spent, well spent. Thank you so much. He's the greatest. So happy about this. Like, I'm literally blushing. Thank you, brother. Thank you. Thank you for watching my video. I hope you're enjoying it so far. Stick around, there's a little bit more. But I wanted to make sure you hit those like and subscribe buttons below to catch my latest content. I post twice a week, always every Monday and Thursday. And if you wanted to follow me on social media or get your very own Ray Purpose piece, you can find me on Instagram, Facebook, Etsy, and Gmail under Ray Purpose. Thank you and keep watching. If you have seen any of my previous videos, you probably have heard music from Brian already. So I want to thank him uh, for that. And also thank Brian for this project itself. Uh, There's so many cool aspects of the project and like little ways that I made this table more of like a whole 
like juicing entertainment kind of center. Uh, I love the way that the ledges are little planters. And if it was possible, I would ma add more ledges to have more plants. And one of the things that I suggested to Brian, the way to make the, his table even better is to add lights on the inside of, uh, on the underside of the table so that it could um, like just have a glow and look more of a showy piece. So that is the, probably the greatest suggestion I can give to Brian and the greatest way that like, this project can be improved. The other thing I thought about is putting like smaller hooks on some of the parts next to the ledge so that if the plants are like vine plants, they can grow up the legs of the table and that would be a cool visual element too. So those are my thoughts. Steaming greens up in my chalice Your destiny, you gotta grab it I pray to job don't wear a ballad Till I rise, they don't wanna see it, they want me to feed it Light of the world, doing my job, shop for no reason So it is written, made in this image, you better believe it Yeah, I'm black, 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 like Jesus